Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I have here with me the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark III S and I want to find out how this camera performs in real life professional shooting environment. Let's do this! Before we dive in, here are some important disclaimers. I'm an Olympus visionary, an ambassador to the Olympus brand. This is not my camera. The EM10 Mark III S is on loan from OMD World Imaging and I have to return this to them after this. This is also not a review of this camera. I believe you can find a lot of EM10 Mark III reviews out there and the EM10 Mark III S is just a revision of the EM10 Mark III. Both are practically the same camera. However, I do want to find out if this EM10 Mark III 3S can perform in a challenging shooting environment when I bring it out to shoot on jobs. The EM10 Mark III S is an entry-level Olympus OMD camera. Being an Olympus OMD, it shares some similar DNA with the flagship EM1 Mark II and EM1 Mark III. The camera is very well constructed, it feels really solid in hand. The handling is very good as well. There is a thumb hook at the back and a beefy hand gripping area at the front for comfortable handheld shooting. There is a built-in electronic viewfinder which is large, bright, smooth and very comfortable to use. At the core of the camera, it features a 16 megapixel image sensor from the older generation, but at the same time, it has the flagship level image processing engine, the Trupic 8, which is similarly found in the EM1X and EM1X. EM1 Mark II, both flagship cameras from Olympus. More importantly, the camera also has a powerful 5-axis image stabilization, which can be very useful in a lot of shooting scenarios and for stabilized handheld video shooting. Being an entry-level camera, the camera does miss some advanced features like Pro Capture Mode, Handheld High-Res Mode, and Face Detection Autofocus, all available in high-level cameras like the flagship EM1X or the EM1 Mark III, but I don't think these are deal breakers. Although this is an entry-level Olympus camera, being an OMD camera, it is still really reliable. It can deliver fantastic results. The series of photographs that I've just shown were taken at a real-life jazz performance. I was privileged to shoot Janet Lee and Tae Cher Siang, both very prolific performers in Malaysia. I prefer to show real-life sample images in real professional shooting environment. Unfortunately, that's not the case for a lot of YouTubers or photography reviewers. A lot of them just take random photographs, look at a photograph which has no context, they zoom in and say, ah, micro photos cameras are so bad, it has bad dynamic range, it has no enough resolution, it has horrible high ISO performance, blah, 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 blah. And there is no substance in the review. I'm sorry if you don't have real sample images, real photographs, I can't take you seriously. I'm a photographer, my job is to take photographs. What does the camera do? take photographs. So if you don't have a useful photographs to show, your review is just meaningless. Photographs speak louder than your opinion. The jazz performance shoot was particularly challenging for two reasons. The stage was dimly lit, sometimes I had to use ISO 6400, but thankfully I managed to stay below ISO 3200 for most of my shots. That's because I was using the amazing Olympus Prime lenses, the excellent 75 f1.8 and my favourite 45 f1.8. In fact, a lot of the images were taken with ISO 1600 and the images came out clean, sharp, 
full of fine details, the colours are well preserved, the skin tone look great, and what noise, seriously, they all look fantastic. Challenge number two, the autofocus of the camera. Janet Lee, the main performer, moved a lot during the performance and she was moving really, really fast as if she was dancing on stage. And this is a true test and torture for the Olympus EM10 Mark III as you know what, the autofocus had no issue keeping up with the fast movement even in dimly lit condition. Yes, the EM10 Mark III S can deliver images even in a very challenging professional shooting environment. Here is another set of images which I've taken in a separate occasion. This was shot in Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Centre. They have an afternoon full of musical performance and again, I used the EM10 Mark III S to capture these shots. Besides the two live music performances that I've shot with the EM10 Mark III S, I've also brought the camera out for a night street shooting. What better way to torture the camera in the dark streets of Kuala Lumpur after sunset? This time, not only if I've used the high ISO for some of my shots, but I also put the 5 axis image stabilization to test and really see how it can benefit in dim lighting condition. And you know what? The 5 axis image stabilization did not disappoint. In a static scene where there's no movement, I would lower the ISO to maybe 200 or 400. I will lower the shutter speed as slow as 1 to 2 seconds and rely on the 5 axis IS to get the shot. And you know what? It confidently steadied the camera for these shots, even handheld with no tripod and support for one to two seconds. Imagine if you are using a camera with less powerful image stabilization from other brands. I don't know, pick your brand, whichever that you like. Maybe you need to use one of a tenth of the shutter speed or one of a twentieth of the shutter speed to handhold a scene. I can get away with one to two seconds. So if you need ISO 3200 or 6400, high ISO, right? For full frame cameras, you have no noise and no problem, but I'm shooting with ISO 200 or 400 with my Olympus OMD. My ISO 200 will still outperform your ISO 6400 in the same situation. This is where the 5 axis image stabilization is a real weapon for Olympus OMD and can be a game changer and match the performance of other more capable cameras out there. Please do not underestimate what the 5 axis image stabilization can do. One thing that I must admit I really like about the Olympus EM10 Mark III S or generally the Olympus EM10 form factor is that it is very small and light. I'm not saying that the EM1 Mark II or the EM1 Mark III are too big and too heavy. The cameras are designed to be bigger and heavier to handle the larger pro lenses better. There's better balance for bigger lenses like for example the 300 f4 IS Pro or the amazing 150 to 400 IS Pro. So we have a large 
larger body, heavier body, it does counterbalance the larger lenses better. But if you're not using any of these super large, super long lenses, if you're staying with prime lenses or the kit lenses, the EM10 makes sense. And if you're not doing any professionally crazy challenging jobs, if you're not shooting in the rain or snow, you don't need the weather ceiling, then the EM10 does make more sense than carrying an EM1 body. Of course, it does depend on your need. I am a professional photographer and I do shoot in the rain. I think you've seen me in the thunderstorm previously. Weather ceiling is very important to me. And I do handle larger lenses like the Olympus 40 to 150 Pro f2.8. So I do need EM1 for most of my professional shoots. But if all these are not necessary for you, I think the EM10 series camera like the latest EM10 Mark III S can do the job. I'm sure some of you will ask, hey Robin, how about the EM10 Mark IV? Well, I've done a full review for EM10 Mark IV. I'll put a link to the video up here. Please check it out. The EM10 Mark IV is a huge upgrade from the EM10 Mark III or this EM10 Mark III S. It features a new 20 megapixel image sensor, which is a step up from this older 16 megapixel sensor in this camera. The EM10 Mark IV also has a more powerful image stabilization. It has a few more features. It has a rework autofocus algorithm for video recording and a re redesigned hand gripping area which is better for handling. Of course, that comes at a price. The EM10 Mark IV is definitely more expensive than this EM10 Mark III S. It all depends on your budget. If you can afford, then of course go for the EM10 Mark IV, which has better features, better image sensor. But if budget is a concern, then the EM10 Mark III S, I have just proven to you in this video that it can still deliver great results and perform in a really challenging shooting environment. Don't feel anything less when you own this, this is still an Olympus OMD camera, a fully capable camera that can deliver results. That's all I have to talk about the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark III S and my experience using it in real life shooting environment. If you have enjoyed the photographs that I've shown in this video and benefited from my sharing, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account, links in the description below. Any support goes a long way and help me to continue making similar videos and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.